Judge this Galata for in fact. And the Malinga and the Jet Shoes is ignited and there she goes for the opening try. That is probably the quickest try so to end the pool stages unbeaten. Suffered injury so far or <coughs> doing the first couple of matches. African team certainly showing some intent to attack. And Ruiz steals the ball. Medin Ruiz gets the ball away. Presently Mupupa. And Ruiz again. My word, she's busy. Ruiz, and she's probably going to go all the way. Yep, she has the legs. At a canter. She's not even off, off, uh, off engine room of the Springbok 7s team, the women. On the World Challenger Series, Uganda and Kenya, as well as the South Africans, who feature on the World Series, as well as in the Olympics. I've shown you today just how much experience counts in tournaments like this. Cool, calm and collected. Tunisia. And again, the turnover. Simmers. Simmers sniping. And came in from one of the Tunisians. Now it's Liska Latagan setting it up. Latagan, a very, very. Which they normally do because it gives you better attacking options. Simmers, will she go blind? No. Simmers. Simmers with Malinga, and it'll be try number two. Pin down. Very good restarts. There she goes again. Ruiz hangs in the wind. Baloy immediately up in the face of the Tunisian. She's going to get pinned for not rolling away. Now, Tunisia, that's an opportunity, and there's some pace. Lovely bit of desperate defense by Mpupa. Now Tunisia on the back foot. Malinga overrunning it. And again, look at Ruiz. She's just like a little bull terrier. Then she puts in the tackles. The amount of work that play gets through is just out of this world. Still Tunisia pinned down. Nowhere to go. Malinga couldn't get it. Ruiz picks it up. She's on the floor. Pushes it back. Simmers. Look at the pace from Maria Cheremba. Try number four for the Springbok women's events. <laughs> Jacobs, clean take. Shaniqua Lamprecht. She has experience on the world circuit. By Tunisia and Jacobs with a scrum feed. She's caught in possession. Very strong counteracting by Tunisia. Latigan comes to the rescue. Lamprecht to Ruiz. Still Ruiz. Look at her go. Ah, she's just caught. Good defending by Tunisia. They didn't give up on that. Lamprecht, she's a strong girl. Places the ball back very, very nicely. Jacobs now. 
was Benoit. This Galata Khan will use a size Lamprecht. And if they win a clean ball here, surely South Africa would bank on scoring. But that was a bit messy. All knocked out of Jacob's hand. Aloy. Malinga. There goes Malinga. That's a hat trick. Hat trick of tries for Ayanna Malinga. That was inevitable. They'll be going into the quarterfinal with a great deal of confidence tomorrow morning. Immediately, the Springbok women rushing up in defense, trying to pin down Tunisia in their own 22. Lee Fortain is now also on the pitch. Still Tunisia, can't get out. Here's an opportunity for Tunisia. Solid defense from Sandeli Masuku. Lamprecht has been very, very active on defense as well. And look at that. They're just pushing back the North African side. Can't get out of danger. Jacobs, and she'll run around and go and score in the corner. She's got a lot of pace. Not in the corner, but she still scores. 40 points with no response from Tunisia. Conversion was not good. And again, it's Masuku and Lamprecht making the tackle. <laughs> Here's an opportunity for Tunisia. And they've got some pace out wide. But Jacobs is coming across in cross in defense. Lovely bit of support play from Tunisia. Lafi Habiba did very, very well to support. Still Tunisia now. They'll be looking to break their duck. And they should do so. They've got a player over on the side. But instead, they decide to try and go the direct route. And now they play to the other side. And again, look at Lee Fortain rushing up in defense. Still Tunisia. Not really looking as they know where to go, really. The South Africans will be desperate to keep them out. They haven't conceded a try today, and they will not be happy if they were to do so now. Probably the last play of the match. Still Tunisia. Oh, and they knock it on. That was a very, very, very good opportunity for Tunisia to yeah. score in this match.